Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Tyneco Floor One S7 Pro. I did receive this sample from Tyneco directly, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Take a look at the retail box and packaging right here, going over some of the key tech specs and features on the side, everything that's included. And we have some of those same main features right here for the S7 Pro, where smarter equals cleaner. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Look at this quick start guide built right into the box with four simple steps to get everything up and running. Here are all the contents. First up, we have our instruction manual complete with their customer service and contact information. We have some tech specs here, nice product overview our included accessories, assembly and installation instructions, how to operate and use your wet dry vac, digital display settings. We have voice prompt options here with a nice chart, how to maintain and clean your wet dry vac, brush roller care, troubleshooting information, as well as the two year warranty info. Next, you'll find a bottle of cleaning solution here, 16.9 ounces. We have a nice cleaning brush with the Tyneco logo and branding. We have the main handle that we have to install with some additional product info right there for registration. Extra filter, this is washable. We have some accessory holders and stands for the base. We have one power supply cable, one extra brush roller, one charging base and stand right here. Look at that from both sides. See it from the back side where we can connect the included power supply and adapter. And we have our charging contacts right there up at the top. And you'll notice some accessory options right there built in. And lastly, we have the unit itself. Let's look at this in more detail. Here's a look at the unit up close. You'll notice we have the Tyneco logo and branding on the front with a molded plastic wood grain finish, which is really neat. Our dirty water tank with three step instruction for cleaning and letting it air dry. You can press that button to remove the dirty water tank, washable, replaceable filter. The cap comes off too. We can easily clean and empty everything out and remove the user guide. And then just gently press it back on. Take a look at the unit with the tank removed. And then we'll just line this back up and it'll snap right back in place like so. Moving further down the unit, we have our main brush roller right here, and we have our dual side cleaning option. This is a really nice roller, super soft, high quality. You'll notice right here, see this gray strip? Pay special attention to that. It's constantly wringing out dirty water with what they call their floating scraper design. So that's intentionally tight and snug up against this to wring out that water while it's rotating and cleaning for you. Let's take a look at the side profile here. Really nice rubber wheels, airless design. I love how that looks. We have our Float Tech logo and branding there. Nice side profile. Once that inside piece of paper is removed, you'll be able to see and visually know how full the tank is. Here's a look at the other side of it. Got the white along the back. There is your max indicator for the dirty water tank. Here's a look at the back side. We have our clean water tank right here with some additional product information. Same thing, just press to release. And we have our instructions here. Fill with tap water, 140 degrees Fahrenheit max, and add one cap of your solution. Take a look at the side, the other side, and then we just pop this open to reveal how we're gonna fill that up with water. Take a look at the back of the unit with it removed, some additional product info right there. And then we'll just line it back up. Really a cool tank there. And you'll see at the bottom, the wheels from the back side here, smooth power logo and branding. And here's a look at the very bottom of the unit to see the brush roller again, two tiny wheels for some stability right there. And you'll notice down here, we have our charging contacts to put it on the base. And up at the very top, you'll notice we have where the handle is gonna go for installation. 
and we have our nice display. So there's only a couple things to do to set up your S7 Pro. The first one is to install the handle. It just clips right in place. Pay attention to how we have the handle here. That's how it's gonna go on your unit. So the logo and branding is gonna face out, if that makes any sense. So it just snaps right in place there. And the rest of the stuff is you can prep the included charging base if you want. So you'll take the two accessory holders and we have their place right there. So we can add our filter in. We have our cleaning brush if you wanna put that there in the extra brush roller. And then we have our charging supply and adapter. So that'll plug in to the back side right there. Now you just need to connect this to a wall, place the unit on the base, let it charge up and then set up the mobile app. Now it's time to clean. Floors are only possible thanks to the balance pressure water flow system. This system consists of four steps. Step one is fresh water rinsing. With fresh water evenly dispersed, the brush roller system stays clean while washing the floors. Step two is high speed washing. During this step, the brush roller continuously washes with 450 revolutions per minute. Step three constantly wrings dirty water. In this step, the unique floating scraper squeezes the dirty water with each revolution, getting rid of dirt dirty water while keeping the brush roller clean. Step four is the immediate suction of dirty water. You'll find that with the flat tube design of this device, the dirty water is quickly sucked back up into the dirty water tank. So all these steps work in conjunction with each other to allow us to continually have a clean brush roller while we're cleaning. Really quickly, I wanted to show you how bright the built-in light is on the S7 Pro. We have a beautiful light strip here, diffusing the light very softly, but bright enough to see any object in front of you to get that nice attention to detail wherever you want, maybe in those hard to see or reach areas. You have this light shining on the floor in front of you as you move around to be able to identify some of those dirty areas and make sure you're not missing anything on the floor and you'll know when you might need to spend a couple extra seconds on one particular spot. So really a nice light. I love the design of that light, it looks really cool and it's plenty bright to see in front of you. Don't forget you can actually release and remove everything for easy cleaning. There's a look at the inside of ours and the cover after the first clean. The brush roller itself looks great though, the self cleaning is phenomenal. Let's go ahead, let's look at this up close. We have our filter there, this is washable, we haven't done any of that yet. So let's just very gently open this up Got some crumbs, some hair right there, both human and pet. But then here's the inside of the dirty water tank. This is so gross. But let's pour it out here. Food crumbs, a lot of dirt, grass clippings. Did I mention crumbs already? You get the idea, but everything you would expect to find around your house, that's what we're able to pick up off the floor and clean up. And it's great, the water is dirty. So again, the really fine dust and dirt particles, those are getting mopped up as well. So far, so good. I also wanna mention that during our first clean, we had auto mode set and 100% full charge with the device. We cleaned for a solid 10 minutes and we used 24% of the battery. So we're actually seeing better results than the advertised 40 minutes per charge. We would get around 41, 42 minutes in auto mode. So keep that in mind. Your results may vary depending on how dirty your environment is, what mode you're using. 
but definitely well within that range. The S7 Pro will give you up to 40 minutes of runtime thanks to its 3900 milliamp hour battery and Tyneco's iLoop technology that's going to auto manage your suction power as well as the water usage. So that means you're refilling, you're emptying, and you're recharging less. If you've never used a wet dry vac before, you'll be impressed with the type of messes that this wet dry vac will be able to clean up. The dirtiest of dirty floors will be no match for the S7 Pro and you'll be impressed with how clean and dry the floors are right after you clean everything up. The S7 Pro is equipped with dual edge cleaning. This is a very clever design on the unit, allowing us to get up close, a lot closer than the competition, to the baseboards along a wall, things like that, those hard to reach areas that typically you have maybe an inch or two of a gap there. You now narrow the gap with this unit on both sides. Doesn't matter the left or the right side of the unit, you'll be able to go up close and personal to your baseboards and walls to give you that much more of a thorough clean. One of my favorite features on the S7 Pro is what they call smooth power. This is a bi-directional self-propulsion system that's smart enough to detect your movement. So if you push it forward, it's going to propel itself forward. If you pull it back, it's going to go ahead and propel itself backwards. So it's going to follow your lead, but it's basically going to move itself around for you. So you don't have to worry about any sort of fatigue or this unit being too heavy, things like that. It's so simple and easy to use because it's basically propelling itself around and it's smart enough to sense the the direction that you're going and it's very responsive easy to use and super enjoyable and i'd argue pretty fun as well too to have it propel itself at what i would also say is a very dialed in speed it's not too fast too slow or anything like that they really nailed it with that system clean up simple and straightforward when you're finished cleaning with your wet dry vac go ahead place it back on the charging base and press the little water drop button up at the very top you have two different self-cleaning options a two minute clean and a deeper six minute clean just pick and choose the the one that you want, let it do its thing. And then when you're finished, make sure to go ahead and empty out the dirty water, rinse everything out, let it air dry for 24 hours, and you're good to go to start cleaning again. All right, now I've prepared a torture test for our wet dry vac here. Let's see how it does. So the Tyneco Life app is a free app available for iOS and Android devices to get the most out of your new wet dry vac. Once you download the app, you'll sign in, create a profile. This is the home screen you're gonna be at. If you have multiple Tyneco devices, you'll see them all right here. You may even get a prompt automatically to add your new device. If you don't, don't worry. We have the plus icon right here where we can browse and add the device depending on the type, whether it's a carpet cleaner, cordless vacuum cleaner, wet dry vac, you get the idea there. We even have a nice hair dryer, which is cool. But in our case, we're gonna be doing the Floor One S7 Pro at the very bottom, now ready to connect. So remove the appliance from the charging dock and press the switch to make sure the battery is sufficiently charged. So that's step one. Step two, press and hold the Wi-Fi reset button for three seconds. 
and then your device will be ready to connect. Once the button's held down, you'll hear a voice prompt and we're ready to go to the next screen, which is connect to Wi-Fi. So it's gonna add our device. It's gonna search via Bluetooth for the device right here. It successfully paired all on its own. And now at this screen, we need to connect to a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. So go ahead, choose your network, enter your password and select next. We just got a voice prompt letting us know it's connected to the network. And now we have successfully added our Floor One S7 Pro. So we can go back home or choose start. Let's choose start. We can name the device. I'm gonna leave it as it is. And now we have everything all set up and ready to go. So let's look at our device settings. We have a prompt right here to download an animations pack. So we'll go ahead, we'll do that right now. Make sure everything's up to date and current at the time of this video. All right, so the animations pack has been downloaded. We're gonna go right from the home screen into the device right here. And we have a couple of different settings to look at. In the top right hand corner, you'll find our device settings here where we can change the name, view the product manual, upgrade firmware, voice package. So we have multiple languages to choose from. And then we have our animations download. Then we have all of our different mode options. We have auto mode, there's a nice description, and our smart adjustment for power and spray volume. We have our max mode, that's the next option up. We can select that, and we can make any adjustments for the parameters as needed for our power and spray volume. Nice description there. Ultra mode, we can enter into that as well. You'll see we have our smart adjustments for power and spray volume. And then we have our suction mode, true to its name, we can adjust the suction setting. There's no spray, this is just for really wet areas where you maybe need to absorb a little bit more of the liquid that's on the ground. And then in the bottom, we have another tab, the appliance status. So currently 46% for a battery right out of the box and it's charging. And we have a cleaning log here, cleaning reminders, volume, so low, medium, or high. We can turn that on or off. Brush light, do you want the brush light on or off? Cleaning method, clean water or detergent, running speed. So you can choose soft, medium or max right there. So that's a quick look with all the settings we can control if we want to use our smartphone to enhance the experience with the free Tyneco Life app. After using the Floor One S7 Pro, here are my final thoughts. This thing does a great job cleaning. It's powerful, it's quiet, and your floors will dry quick. The built-in display is beautiful, really easy to see. It's bright, vibrant, and does a nice job. You have phone controls as well. That's still more of a gimmick to me. That's not essential if you buy a unit that isn't smart, but there's some potential there in the future to give us maybe some speed control adjustments for the self-propulsion. I would love to see that option so we can make it dry faster or slower. They also have two self-cleaning modes with this particular unit. That's a nice touch. Instead of just one uh, self-clean that maybe doesn't do the best job, now you have a quicker option and a deeper cleaning option if you want it to run longer. Now, I really hope in the future, or maybe with the software update, they're able to show us a timer or countdown clock during the self-cleaning cycle so we know how much time is left. That would be just a nice little touch in my opinion. Also, we have our beautiful LED light bar at the bottom, same thing with the app control. We have the luxury, hopefully in the future, they give us the ability to adjust that brightness and I'd like to see it even brighter. I'm always gonna be picky on LED lights. I want them bright, 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 bright. They really just can't be too bright. We talked about the self-control or the self-driving propulsion with the wheels. I'd love to see that speed adjusted, the brightness for the LEDs. And lastly, I found the voice assistant, whatever you wanna call it, annoying with the voice prompts on the unit, but thankfully within the app, you can turn it off. So I turned it off right away. Also for me, for some reason, I have a harder time with this unit latching the dirty water tank sometimes. It's probably just user error, but I wish maybe in the future they could fine tune that a little bit better so you don't have to be as precise putting it in, maybe give you a little more flexibility somehow to be able to make that even easier to have everything snap in. So let me close with this. I always find myself saying you get what you pay for, but it's definitely true in this case. So if you're looking for the top of the line wet dry vac with all the premium features, look no further. The Floor One S7 Pro has arrived.